Hey everybody, it's Dave from Old Dominion Angler. I'm out here at the Salt Creek again. We're gonna do a little bit of perch fishing here right off the bat. I want to do a catch and cook if I can beat the weather. Got a cold front moving in. It's windy, coming right out of the north. And uh, looking at the radar, it looks like the rain's gonna be here in about two hours. So hopefully we can catch a nice uh, keeper perch and then we'll head over to the beach and cook it up before the rain gets here. So let's see if we can get lucky. Let's get on the fish. There's fish. Yeah, he's kind of small. That last catch and cook I did, I ended up keeping one about this size. And the fillets that came off of him were really, really tiny kind of small. If I bake him whole, it'd probably be pretty good. What I'm going to do is get a bucket of water and keep him, and then we'll just upgrade as we go. So the idea I had for the cook today, I've been doing a little bit of research about some of our native plants in this area, and uh, I noticed that the beach I was at the other day, there's a lot of uh, lamb's ear, comfrey. So I was wondering if you could cook with it, and you can. And you can also make uh, tea with it and it was also a medicinal plant. It's got some natural antiseptic and uh, coagulant properties is good for bleeding. So if uh, you had a wound you could use it as a cover with a poultice to, uh, to staunch bleeding and promote healing. But uh, from what I understand what I've read, the, the lamb's ear, the leaf of the plant, you can, uh, you can actually cook with it. So what we're going to do today is wrap the fish in those lamb's ears and then pack some wet clay around it and then bake a fire right over top of it. So it should be pretty good. I did myself a little favor today and I brought some uh, salt, and pepper, garlic and uh, red pepper flake in a little bag so it should taste pretty good. I'm already thinking about it. Let's catch another one. There's fish. <laughs> I made him mad. I mean, I got him like four, four feet from the boat. He's about the same size as that other guy. I'll keep them both in the bucket. Two would make a little meal. All right, so they're swimming around. Let's catch one more. Let's catch a big one. There he goes, there he goes. Mm, got him, got him. Little, little guy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Little. That's bait though. Ooh, I wonder if we catch a striper with that. Fish him. Ooh, nice. He's running. This one's got a little size to him. A little bit better. Oh, yeah. oh I want to get this guy in the boat. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. That's our cook right there. There's number two. So we're going to keep this guy. Alright y'all, it's starting to rain a little bit. I'm going to drift down the creek, make a couple casts, see if I can't catch a striper, and then we're going to head to the beach and see if we can't get this catching cook done before it really starts raining hard. All right, we got a little lull in the rain. Let's head over to the beach and do our catching cook. I'm getting hungry. All right, we're gonna get some clay to do our fish bake. This big clay bank right here. So we want this nice squishy stuff down here at the bottom. That's what I want right there. 
right there. We're going to walk down the beach a little bit, see if we can find those lambs here. And we're going to wrap the fish in that and then cover the whole thing with clay and get our bait going. Let's go find some. some more. It's perfect, just what we're looking for. Got kind of a melon taste almost. That should be plenty. Let's go cook. Get my fish. I got my clay. Alright, time to make a mud pie. Alright, there's the bottom half. I'm going to clean my hands off, line this up, put the fish in there, season it a little bit, put some more leaves on top, and then finish the, the clay bake. All right, there it is, one fish sarcophagus. He's ready to bake, so let's go put this guy on the fire. All right, let's get this fire started. So we got it going, I'm going to get a bed of coals, put the fish on, build a fire over top of it, and bake it. Alright, got a good little fire going. Got our fish bake right here, our fish lozenge. Doesn't it look like a lozenge? Fish lozenge, say that. I'm gonna put it right on top. Now we gotta build up around it. So I decided to get a little cup of tea going. So I got my, my tin cup, some water. Nothing fancy, just tea from home. Plantation mint. Fair enough. Right. 
I'm more of a coffee drinker, but tea's pretty easy. There we go. The brew is on. You can probably see the fish bait going there. It's got a while to go. Uh, it'll, I'll probably be out here another hour or so cooking this thing. Fun. All right, tea is done. Let's give it a chase. Wow, that's so good. It's chilly out here. It's probably 48 degrees and falling. I got a nice warm fire. This fish bag is going to be a while, so I'm going to go collect some more wood. So, got a little rain coming my way. Yeah, that's going to be fun. The uh, fish bake's coming along pretty well. You can see the end of the clay bake there. I'm going to let this burn down and then we're going to break it open and see what we've got. I might end up, uh, if it's undercooked, just roast it off over the coals and eat and get out of here before I get soaking wet. I'm going to hunker down and prepare for a little bit of rain. Shouldn't be too bad though. Alright, it's time to see what we've got. Got steam, that's good. Steaming. Steaming. Oh yeah. That's nice and hot. get dirt all over my fish. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That is beautiful. A little sea salt on there. Garlic powder. Red pepper flake. And uh, what else did I put on there? Some uh, black pepper. Alright. Let me get this guy out of the uh, fire, and I'm going to douse this fire because we're making a, a lot of smoke. And uh, then we'll have some fish. All right, found a nice piece of bark. It's like poplar bark. Rinsed it off in the river. That's going to be my platter. Let's see if we can get this guy out of here. Ouch. That is awesome. There's his head. Nice. Beauty, isn't it? Alright, let me set this over here. Let this cool a little bit. Take care of this fire and then we'll eat. So, I believe in leaving no trace, if at all possible. I'm going to sift through here and pick up all those pieces of burnt clay and charred wood. I'm going to put them in a bucket. I'm going to take them home and get rid of them. Then I'm going to just make sure this is all put back together. I'm going to put these other logs back where I found them. 
and this spot will be ready for the next person or for me the next time I come out. Let's eat because the rain is coming. Look. Ah, gotta eat. Alright, that's where we were. It's put back pretty well, I think. Never even know. Mr. Davy was here. Alright. Got my fresh perch. Just gonna eat him skin and all. <laughs> that was a really good idea, bring him some salt with me. Mm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh man. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh man, look at it. Hmm. Let's try the fish cheeks. They're good. Alright, I've never had a fish eye before. That's kind of repellent. Give it a try. Ew. That was kind of fishy. And that cornea in there, that hard part, that's disgusting. Mm. Got the winds. Yick. All right, I'll stick to the meat. Fish eyes, not my thing. Mm. Man, the rain is coming. I gotta hurry up and eat. Mm, nom, 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 nom. All right, I'm gonna finish this fish up, and I'm gonna pack up and get the heck out of here. I'm gonna get wet on the way home. Oh well, it was totally worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the uh, cooking we did here. Hit that subscribe button for me. I'll keep the videos coming. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'll get back to you, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Here comes the rain. <laughs>